Hello, welcome to this episode of The Marketing Wave. My name is Tommy Gentleman and I'm the founder of Tide 55 Digital Marketing. Now, I'm gonna cut right to the quick. If you are a business owner that either outsources their marketing or has an internal either marketing person or marketing department, then this video is for you. And you might be thinking, well, who are you to sort of tell me what to do when it comes to the marketing? Look, we're here to disrupt. We're here to positively disrupt when it comes to digital marketing. We're brand new to this. We're only in our first year. Now that also brings with it a very special type of energy that we don't have bad habits, but we can see them. We can see them a mile off. We can smell them like a bad smell that lingers. And so what we want to do is be able to help you out. We want to be able to get your back here today by giving you three things to look for. And all you've got to do is watch this video and then go and just have a little look at your own marketing department or marketing person and or obviously agency and just think am i really getting the value that i deserve here and that i want for my business as the business owner or am i getting less of a service or maybe even being taken advantage of and we really don't want that you know we so it's very important that we look out for you because you're trying to run a business and you're trying to make the world a better place and so we don't want anybody getting comfortable all right so here are three things to look for digital marketing is a science and an art and so the very first thing that i want to bring your attention to as the business owner when it comes to your own marketing department or your marketing agency that you're using is to make sure that when you look at what they're creating the content that they are creating that it's really on point with your company's personality. It has to be in alignment with, it, with your company's brand and it has to make sense. It has to feel the same to the person on the other end as when they walk through the doors of your establishment or they pick up the phone to speak to one of your team. If that message is not in alignment, if it doesn't look and feel the same and if it doesn't show up with the personality that you as the business owner know so well, because let's face it, you created, you, you made this thing, then that's a problem because you've got to remember just how many human beings are engaging, seeing, and becoming more aware with potentially the wrong personality and painting the wrong picture of who you are and what you do. And that's bad because all that hard work that you've already put in as the business owner, all those late nights, sleepless nights, sacrifice that you've put in, for your brand to be misrepresented on social media, it's a big deal. And it's a big deal more than ever because so many more people are using social media as a way to check out the companies that they're potentially gonna do business with. And more and more people are buying services and products online. So not only does that mean that you're there, but guess what? It means your competitors are there too. And if they're more on point with their personality, their brand, if they're connecting better to the audience, then that's where the money's gonna go. And you're gonna miss out on that return on your investment, you're gonna lose opportunities and sales if your personality isn't in alignment with who you really are as a company. So I would, if I was you, check out a few of the posts. If you're not someone who likes to keep an eye on these things, then make the time. You owe it to yourself and you owe it to everyone else in the organization as the owner to just go and spend some time and look at what's being created. How close is that to the personality that you know and love? Show it to someone else, show it to your partner, show it to your friend say, does this really spell out who we are and what we do? Very important because if it doesn't, then you've got to address that immediately and you've got to start to change it and you've got to have those difficult conversations with your marketing team. All right, so the second thing that I want to help you out with today is something that us here at Tide55 put right at the top of the tree and it's objective. Now, what can happen is that when someone's in charge of social media, they base their efforts on the wrong metrics. Now, instead of having the KPIs in alignment with your company's objective, let's say it was selling more of product A, if your social media doesn't help more of product A sell, then really you're wasting your marketing opportunity. You're wasting that chance to advertise and to connect and build relationships around customers that would be interested in buying product A. If they're only doing it to play lip service or to count the likes or how many followers you have, then really you're missing the point. 
because that's all well and good, but if those likes and those follows don't equate to more of product A being sold, then not only are you poss possibly wasting time and possibly wasting money, but you're missing out on such a huge opportunity. Why would you not focus that attention on selling product A when it's such a powerful way of promoting your services and products? You can literally create organic content and paid content to reach the right target audience, fill your pipeline, make more sales. And if that isn't the number one reason why you're doing social media, then you've got to change that. And as the business owner, it's your responsibility to step in there and say, hang on a minute, what are we basing our success on here? Is it that we've had two new followers this week or is it that we've had two new inquiries about product A? Because that's what it's all about. Likes, follows, it's very, 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 very much second to the business growing in revenue. That's why you do any marketing, that's why you do any advertising. Even brand awareness eventually leads to sales. You can do brand awareness all day long, but if you don't make sales, you're gonna go out of business. So that's why we've gotta make sure that our objectives are at the forefront of our social media energy and intent. So as the business owner, you gotta get in there and you gotta to speak to the people running your socials, make sure they understand what it is that you guys need to be promoting, talking about, and increasing awareness around. Okay, so the third and final point is, look, human beings, when they are doing something for a certain period of time, sometimes get comfortable. Now, I'm sure that you've been there with other things yourself. I know I have. But when it comes to a business transaction, when it comes to paying money, hard-earned money that you as the business owner have driven and led, and you've made this thing happen, and then you're paying this money for a service, specifically digital marketing, specifically taking care of your social media, specifically taking care of your SEO, your Facebook ads, or any kind of digital advertising, and the human beings responsible for that start getting comfortable, that is when you have to intercept it and start having crunchy conversations with people. The reason I bring this to your attention today is that this is an area where people can pull the wall over your eyes. Business owners grossly underestimate how easy and quick some things can be done when it comes to digital marketing. So somebody might give you all the words and say all the right things, but actually the processes and the value that they're giving you, it really is not adding up to how much you're paying for it. Okay, so what I would recommend is that you consistently sit down with the people or the person responsible for your outsourced digital marketing or social media and you talk about what it is that they've been doing, the reasons why they've done certain things in certain ways so you can help yourself to understand and you can hold them accountable. We always encourage these types of conversations with our clients. It is very important not only to stop that whole comfort thing which wouldn't happen with us, but it's actually really, really important for us to be able to help you understand what we're doing. Because you know what another thing business owners tend to do is they tend to grossly underestimate also how long some things can take and how much effort can go into some things when they might seem like easy things. So from my experience, it's always best to be honest and transparent. And that is why we have built this agency on relationships and hitting objectives for you. So that you as the business owner can grow your business stress-free you can get your time back and we can help you increase the revenue of your company, the company that you love so much, that you've worked so hard for and that you have so much energy behind. We wanna get involved in that and help you achieve your results. So look, you've been here watching this video today and I wanna say thank you and also I wanna congratulate you on spending the time to wanna know how you can best move your business forward and make sure that you're surrounded by the right people, that you've got the right people in your corner that care deeply about your performance and your business success, but also want to help you achieve your goals. If anything that you've watched today um, makes sense to you and you want to know more about it, then feel free to email me personally on this email address on screen. You can also use that email address if you want to sit down and arrange a time. You know, we're here, we're hungry, we're working hard for our clients, we're fiercely, tenaciously competing on behalf of our clients and we will continue to do so. We would love to know how we can be in your corner moving forwards and if you have any questions at all, 
just reach out. I just wanted to come back in and just make something super clear. Look, this, this isn't about pointing any fingers at anyone, putting anyone on unnecessary pressure here. But these are tough times and businesses, business owners more specifically, need to make sure that they aren't getting taken advantage of. You know, it really does matter right now to be surrounding yourself with the right people. And if we don't produce this content today, if I don't say these things like I have on this video, then who knows, you may be okay or you may have someone taking advantage of you. I don't want that because we believe here at Tide 55 that the world is a better place with more successful, positive and happy business owners in it. And so if this is a way of helping you, help yourself and your business moving forwards, then we've kind of done what we were set out to do with this video. So hope you enjoyed this and it's provided you with some useful value. If you'd like to leave a comment, please do. Or again, that is the email address to get me on if you think I can help you more. Cheers.